Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 5 of my Manchester United Football Manager 2020 series. Be sure to leave a like on this episode today. Let's keep trying to get the episodes in this series to 100 likes. It'll be greatly appreciated. Uh, leave some comments, guys, as well. I love reading your guys' comments about the series. Sometimes I'll get different comments, but I, I really like taking in... Yeah, taking the comments you guys have uh, for my Manchester United team uh, here and just everything uh, about the players uh, in this series, uh, in this save. So we are going to play a few more games. We're going to do three again, and you might tell by the title we're playing some younger players. We've got Carabao, uh, Carabao Cup, uh, EFL Cup, fourth round, uh, Sheffield Wednesday. But a couple results first to update you guys on. We, we did win 4-1 there against Istanbul, Istanbul in the Europa League. I actually initially thought they could be a challenge uh, for us. They've got some names there, uh, or one of the biggest challenge in the group anyway. They've got Dembaba, Rabinho, maybe towards the end of their career. But they've got some names. Algiro Alia, uh, he's, a, he's a fantastic player. Not biased at all because he follows me on Twitter. <laughs> Shout out, Ojiro. But yeah, they, they've got names. Gokyan Inla. They, yeah, they've... Uh, Aziz Bage, he's got an Australian lad in there. They've, like, they're a decent team. They, I didn't think they would be easy, but we're performing very well. So I went into that game with, you know, just keep in mind, we are playing at home. We expect to get the win, and we did, but... Yeah, I, I thought that would be a decent challenge. Anyway, move on to the one against Norwich. And Anthony Martial, look, all the goals. He got a hat-trick. Dominant performance from the lads. So, uh, only two games off camera we played there, but we're going to do another three. Sheffield Wednesday, as I said, we'll play a younger team here. And then we've got Leicester in the league. Therefore, they're not doing too bad. And then, because that reason, one of the games to do on camera in Istanbul, maybe that away game, it could be a little bit more trickier. We'll see. I just think they're probably the hardest team for us to beat in the Europa League. I said that initially against Stan Liège. After looking at their team in Istanbul, their, their team was better than I expected. <laughs> they got some names there. So, yeah, we've got fixtures. And we just, yeah, head into the match preview right now. See our, see our team selection for this one. And we have, we have brought some names in. We put them into the first team uh, a couple days before because... There was actually, before this game, the, I think the under-18s or under-23s 20, under at least had, had a match on the 27th, I think on the 27th. So I didn't want them to play that. Yeah, I didn't want them to play that, make sure they're in. So we brought, uh, the players that we brought up, Laird, Gomez, this Mejbri as well. I'm not 100% sure how to say his name, Hannibal, but whew, he's, he's going to be so good. He's already capped at under-20 level at 16 years of age for France. And then, obviously, Pereira will start. Uh, we've got Ch brought up Chong, 19, 19 years old. Uh, Belotti and Greenwood. So, well, more so Greenwood, younger. He's he's had a little bit of game time off the bench, kind of in the Premier League. He's already scored in the Europa League. We started him one. Keep starting him there. I don't know why, for a few players, determination is going down. I'm not sure if maybe it's the beta um, it seems a bit weird because I've seen it on a few players. Uh, Fosu Mensa will give a chance to him. He is natural uh, centre back. He doesn't have a 100% natural role. Like yeah, full natural role there. But yeah, uh, we'll play him there. We'll be okay. A bit of those the major issues areas. But yeah, that shows when we play two Mazalas. But they do they they do fine when we normally <laughs> when we normally do that. So we still our squad looks a bit bigger now because we added all those guys. They're just going to be here for this game. Then we're going to put them back in their respective. Uh, teams, <laughs> whether it be under 23s, or I think the rare one, that Mejbri, yeah, he's, I want to take a look at him again, yeah, we'll put him back in the under 18s, or do you reckon we should put him in the under 23, so a bit more competitive play for the lad, let me know, because he looks excellent, I just want to point out his strongest attributes, it's from like passing technique, dribbling, all that kind of stuff, and like crossing, he's going to be very good, so getting a start, lads, he's getting a start here, Imagine if he just steps up and oh, has a beautiful game and oh, shows the talent that he is. This is really, really exciting for the lad, uh, for me, for you guys to see him. And with his hair as well, yeah, he's going to be... Like, with him and Chong, I wonder... <laughs> Imagine how they were to look in the game, but... We, yeah, they won't really have their hair that crazy in Football Manager. Anyway, anyway, passionately, this great opportunity to show all the pundits. We keep saying that one motivates large majority of the lads. 
And yeah, there's no tunnel for this one. Large majority of games, there is a little tunnel, a few few questions. But anyway, oh, Hunt, he's going to whip this in. And, oh, Dominic Iofa. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a good start. And that was all down. I was going to say, we've got a few, a few younger names. And let's see, whose fault was that? How was that defending? Uh, was that 46, maybe? Mez well, yeah, that's not... But I don't want him to be the one... Surely a centre-back had to be in a better position. Because right now, we could be... Did I go too strong with young players? We're going to find out. I thought it was okay mix. But here's Chong. Definitely. Definitely looks like him. Andreas Pereira, we get that back! Bang, bang, bang. There we go. I definitely thought we would have the... The good attacking players, as I said, it spread <laughs> it spread very nicely in terms of our our better players, and of course the younger players they're going to be better with having good good talents around them. Like Andreas Pereira, like he's not even one of our best players in the team, but yeah, compared to the rest, yeah, it's, it's a good mixture. What I mean, like you got Belotti in there as well, and Ashley Young with the bit of experience leader at the club. Yeah, for me, for me it was a really good mix. For playing this many. Oh, now Mesbury. So Andreas Pereira. Oh, he almost does it again. He almost does it again there. How about that? How about that? There was something I was thinking if we play more direct, but we'll leave it. Laird, who's a very, very, very promising fullback. I'm incredibly excited. And then we're playing Romero at the back as well. Experienced keeper. Even a lot of the players' skin tones are not even right. <laughs> Uh, Laird gets it over the top, kind of, kind of, Kishnar, oh, interception, Andreas Pereira, and here's, well, Andrea Bellotti, Andrea Bellotti, uh, we got, we don't really have another good young talent, like, striker that I noticed anyway, um, in terms of the level of these guys, like Mesbri, like, uh, Gomez, there we go, say, look at the replay there, Andreas Pereira really lifting today, and Bellotti, as I said, these club players are going to score us enough goals. Yeah, like Ch we got like Chong, Gomez, those types. I mean, in terms of our best. Oh, Fosu Mensa. Unfortunately, Fosu Mensa though, I don't think he really has that. For me, Laird almost has like ju ju like judging off his initial report and potential. Looks like he's better. Uh, potential wise, at this current point in time, Fosu Mensa a little bit more experienced and his his current ability. The current ability attribute would be higher. Or attribute, yeah, <laughs> number. Come on. Oh, I really want to see Mesbury do something because I know he's very, very young. But let's see a bit of his talent. And here he is. Can he play a ball through? Oh, nice simple pass to Greenwood. Oh, it would have been nice to see him get an assist. But yeah, see, that doesn't even look like him. Like, not at all. <laughs> I don't expect that uh, to, them to get it right. Sports Interactive for 16-year-olds. But yeah, it's really not that crucial. Some people... Guys, let me know. Do you still play on 2D? But 3D, the gameplay-wise, 3D is not bad. It's more so the models of the players. Uh, that's the next thing. But yeah, that's never been a thing. People, um, like true football manager players didn't really care that much because it's not that much about it. It's more people coming over from FIFA and they say, oh, the gameplay is crap. And I'm like, you're missing the point of football manager completely. <laughs> like, truly. Oh, the ref has given a penalty. Eric Bay. Um, what can I say? What can I say? Come on. Let's go. Gonna... Miss. Miss. Nah. Well, Romero save. No. So, it's 2-2. After they they won the penalty and then Winnell, Winnell <laughs> he, he finished the penalty. It was pretty decent. Maybe could have been saved, but yeah, disappointing. Especially like Eric Bayer put you in. You got to be a leader. You got to be a leader at the back here. One of the most experienced with uh, Ashley Young, definitely. And so yeah, so yeah, that's a bit disappointing that we're two two down. Uh, but I thought this was a great opportunity to do this in a yeah Carabao Cup game because even if we get knocked out, the board does not care at all. They're not judging our performance. So they get no reaction. We could win this, and they don't care. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it's whatever. But come on, got to be doing better. I'm not happy with the performance. That fires a lot of the lads up. So who got the assist? Andreas Pereira, Mesbri. Hopefully we can, yeah, hopefully we can see something from him. 
Uh, and let me know the correct pronunciation of his name, um, if it's got any fancy um, yeah, pronunciations on any of the certain letters. I'm just... <laughs> I'm pronouncing it as it looks, as it looks English-wise. But over the top... Belotti, Belotti! Belotti is gonna save us. Well, he doesn't. Dawson. Dawson saves Sheffield Wednesday. Come on. Oh, Dawson straight to his chest. No problem. No problem there. Uh, Eorfa, he's overwhelmed by the feedback. Come on, come on. We've got some rain hitting here. <laughs> Guys, weather has been crazy in Australia. Last week we had hot days, and now we're having... It's been raining three days in a row. <laughs> it's spring here. Uh, it's it's crazy mix of the weather, but I prefer this. At least I'm not dying in the heat. <laughs> so it's all good. Chong. Chong, come on, finish this. Greenwood, he does. Second goal of the season. Assist by Chong. And yeah, I love this was a perfect game for us. I was happy to see that we, our opponents weren't too hard. And we they weren't too hard for us. Sorry, I'm just, the rain is putting me off. <laughs> yeah, our opponents weren't too hard that we weren't sure about who we're going to select. Now nah, I'm going to have to pause for a bit. It's going to be too heavy. So, all right, let's continue. And what I was going to do, we're only going to change players that will, would like, take a part of low condition and could take part of, like, a following a following game. And for if we can bring on Rashford, he's 95%, so he's not going to be uh, too, uh, like, too tight. He's still going to hold a good, <laughs> uh, good condition for the next game. And even with not the greatest rating for pressing forward, uh, we've still been scoring goals. So I would like, because I train him in that, but it's understandable because it's off their attributes. Uh, yeah, may continue to stay like uh, that rating where it is just competent, but the pressure, yeah, the pressure, the pressure, <laughs> the but I was uh, the press, <laughs> the press and the pressure they bring is really good when you when you play that role. So yeah, only going to sub players that could yeah take part in a following uh, a game. So let's bring on Delo for Ashley Young. You know, Ashley Young is always around the team, maybe as a substitute, something like that. So we make that change. Even, yeah, his rating is not... He probably preferred it right back. Uh, so we're just going to make those two, I reckon. And, uh, yeah, Pereira. Pereira for Paul for Paul Pogba. Just make that change right there. Hopefully, again, <laughs> sometimes I feel like in my videos, I'll have... That's why I explained, because there's always people like, if it's this case, why did you sub this player? So sometimes that's why I feel like I have to like explain it uh, for that time a little bit in depth. But anyway, there we go. That was a great ball in by uh, Mejri. A lot of the times the things I do I think should be self-explanatory, but yeah, <laughs> got to explain them because always, yeah, always there'll be someone uh, wondering about that. So, so that should be that should be it. Uh, we should we should just creep creep over the line but considering the team we played uh yeah uh, I was it was a it was a good enough performance and they went behind early and they had the nous to come back and player of the match was T Chong Chong you know great great performance by him actually he he was he was really good he was very impressive uh Mejbri, yeah it was going to be hard for him to stand out he's still very low rated in comparison uh to the opponents so it was good to see him get a run out though and you guys could take a look but more so Chong he he stood out himself uh with his performance today and Greenwood with a goal is Brandon Williams he is out on loan it's good to see him get regular football uh in the Skybet championship yeah, get, getting uh, getting football in the championship, that's that's very good. Playing regularly, uh, great development for him. It's good in the championship when a younger player can do that. It, it really helps him to step up for Premier League football uh, after that following season. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what he can do. So, just to show you the quarterfinal draw now. See who we're going to come up against. There's some, bigger, there's some bigger names. So, against those likes... Like Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City, Liverpool, Tottenham. There's only Millwall where we would probably uh, play some of those younger guys again. So let's see who we're going to face. Bournemouth. Oh, they're against Tottenham. Manchester United. Ooh, it's going to be against Arsenal. That's going to be a big game. So we're past those early rounds now. And another monthly manager performance review as we've hit into a new month as well. As I said, want to do an episode at least every month. Uh, so we're entering November now. Uh, the, the the board are very happy with the unity among the players at the club. So that's the A. Uh, I love how they have those those ratings, <laughs> which is, is really cool. 
And then you can see the squad dynamics. You don't want to just focus on all the new features. Obviously, squad dynamics uh, been a few years now. You can see the dressing room atmosphere is excellent and the support for me uh, is good. Their team's relevant, especially Manchester City and Liverpool played each other, so it was a good chance. Yeah, someone was going to be dropping points. See how the league is looking. We're playing against Leicester as well, keep in mind. We win this, we go outright top because of our goal difference. Really happy overall. We're doing very, very well. Let's get into the team selection. Show you guys how we're gonna how we're gonna line up. And we the only one, yeah, probably Martial, yeah, Anthony Martial for Greenwood. Uh, had to <laughs> had to switch things back up now, but the team is looking looking very strong. I'm happy with it. And those other players we drop back to, as I said, the respective teams under 23s uh, and that. So let's get let's get into this one. Very strong uh, team is looking very strong. You can take a look at the average ratings. I might do it. Yeah, might as well. It's not like a big thing, but might leave it at the end of the episode as well. Uh, just in terms of, it's good to see how many players have played a certain amount of games. Like, yeah, the, the players, the squad, how many games have played in our leading goal scorers. You see Andrea Bellotti with 11 in 14, and then Martial with 10 in 13. He's got a few penalties, so then you can see there's a bit of a gap between, but Rashford's got six. It's understandable. Yeah, the lads playing as strikers, yeah, they're going to get the more goals. Then Rashford, yeah, he's got seven assists, so he's been involved in a lot of goals one matter five assists from that time that's actually not too bad you maybe suggest playing him a little bit more so yeah <laughs> keep that in mind that's just one part of the game of course but yeah it's goals being created from his yeah from his boot so he's definitely making the bench because uh, yeah Carlos Soler he is he's performing very well so let's get right into this match now against Leicester City it's going to be another another challenging one because they are performing well I do think overall they are a better team I suppose one guy we need to uh, keep on oh, we don't need to one guy I would like to keep my tabs on we got on the short list uh maybe get analyst report yeah get analyst report right now uh, even though he's only three-star potential, I'm not sure how much more he's going to grow in James Madison. Uh, he can play natural central midfield right there. You know, he can play on the wing. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if he could be a potential signing for us or would there be better options at his price and, yeah, for how much he'll cost. Anyway, uh, let's go. Let's go into the dressing room for this one. Uh, let's go passionately as well. I'm just going to keep saying this guy. It's <laughs> just motivating our team and it's going pretty well. Uh, so the tunnel, Ricardo Pereira is one of the best dribblers in the Premier League for a fullback as well. What's his dribbling rate? His dribbling is only 14, but I suppose off the stats, more specifically, the dribbles per game is almost six on average. So I guess we're about to find... I don't like to give away too much. I'm just going to say, how do you throw him off his game? I think we can unsettle him and make him be uncomfortable. Yeah, they'll add to the challenge. We'll just say that. Yeah, Martial. We got two great strikers, goal scorers at the moment. Yeah, Martial scoring, and then Belotti. Yeah, we hope certainly hope he can keep it going. Paul Pogba, exactly. He's playing really well. We just want to see some more of that. So let's go on into it. Let's go on into it, and hopefully there. Well, yes, there is. There is an early highlight right now, and let's see what is going to come from it. Is it going to be more of a challenging game? Or an easier one we are about to find out. Well, here's Pereira almost instantly, instantly into the action. But given away really, really poorly. And, oh, the fast counter-attack is where we're so dangerous. And Tony, Tony Martial, you had to really finish that. That is very, very disappointing that he could not score right there. So, Soler gets it in. Soler gets it in. Now, uh, Pratt, force him back. Force him back, chill well. All right, are they going to attack forward here? So the lad we're talking about, Madison, he gets a great ball across, but Maguire, we're dealing, we're dealing with the head for for the time being, and then we eventually gave it away. That's what I mean, for the time being. <laughs> Surely we couldn't have kept doing that. We needed to, we needed to gather possession. We need to gather possession proper there. But we're we can we are containing them all right. What happened? That was offside, Ricardo Pereira. So yeah, didn't lead too much. But they've got a free kick. They've got a free kick, and that goes over the top. Uh, De Gea could just see that over. Uh, De Gea could see that over there. I was just going to check something with De Gea in terms of his contract. Yeah, he's got the the extended contract that's updated. Because I know, yeah, I think in FIFA his contract was running out. Anyway. Make sure we get the tackles in. 
Don't let him. Luke Shaw did really well. Excellent. Rashford, Belotti, keep going, lad. Keep going. Ah. But he's been a pretty good signing, I reckon. For a striker, if you're a striker, judge of the goals, I think he'll be more harshly judged. I mean, or he'll be focused on more if he wasn't scoring. Like he's not getting enough goals. But when a player's, when a striker's doing that job, you maybe analyse all, like, some other parts of his game. But, yeah, a striker get paid get paid to score goals, and he is doing it for us, so, yeah, doing a good job, yeah, he's doing a good job, no bottles, over here, <laughs> come on, Rashford, Rashford, <laughs> Soler, sometimes if you notice myself, just a little, like, uh, giggle or something like that, uh, sometimes I marvel at my own little world play, oh my god, what a miss, what a miss, man. We gotta get a goal. We gotta get a goal. They go over the top, Ianacho! Ianacho! Come on. He was offside there? You're right. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, it was a free kick. It was a free kick one way or another. But we haven't seen. We haven't seen too much. So what we're going to do, we're going to say demand more. But we're also going to go team instructions. We're going to switch things up a little bit. This is where we go more direct. We switch the tempo just back to higher right now. And take work ball into box off and play out of defense. Switch to change. Switch to change up a little bit. And then switch to very attacking. I just feel, yeah, we, we need to step up to... To score a goal, basically. Let's let's see if we are going to actually see that one. Basaka, great defending. Great defending when we need to. But that ball. Oh, Belotti. The steal. The steal. The steal. And the goal. Andrea Belotti. Come on. 12th goal of the season. Look. Look at this. Look at the steal. Look at the way he just took it from him. He robbed him. He robbed him. And he reaped the rewards off of that. Oh, how good. I I absolutely love that. I love how he just took charge, stole it. That was lovely. That was lovely stuff right there. Now let's let's keep it. Told you all about the press. Yes! Yes, and that was it. That showcases that player role perfectly as a pressing forward. You put him under pressure, and that says it all. That says it all. I've got my hands up right now. Like, yes, that's exactly that's exactly what we wanted, and he did execute. Yes, yes. Come on. I'm, if you can't tell, I'm 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 very happy about that. It's lovely, not just when like you're leading, but your players are executing. Uh, your style that you want to be playing so yeah that's always you're on a good you're in a good page uh, with your lads right now it's a really good place to be in so we'll just say we're pleased again I'm not going to risk just saying complacent I've already told you that story and if you've been a long time viewer of mine uh, yeah you know that you know that for sure <laughs> you know that for sure now Rashford what do what are you doing mate I always hate that. They just let them intercept it, basically. So now it is Madison. Come on. Come on. Deal with it. Pogba. Soler. We're waiting. Pogba! Launches outside of the box. That was a uh, special goal, Paul Pogba. Genius, genius, according to the commentary there. <laughs> the in-game commentary. Look at that pass he made as well. Solaire. So how about that? Oh, no, it wasn't a 1-2. Got it to make not close enough anyway. Pogba initially, yeah, switched it out wide. Then it got it back to him. Sweet, sweet goal to make that 2-0 just before half-time. Go- half half-time whistle be, uh, will be called. Imagine if we can somehow sneak a third. Very late. This will be two goals late if we do. Just imagine. Come on. Here we go. Wan Bissaka. Yes. We just need to imagine we can do it. And here we are. Here we are, Wan Bissaka. Come on. Good play. Is something going to come to it? Come on. Cross it in. Maybe it won't lead to anything. 
Oh, maybe it will! I told you! I told you! You just need to imagine, imagine, like John Lennon, and you will score! You will score, just imagine! There you go! Oh, Madison gave it away. Yeah, it couldn't be found, Madison there. Maddie couldn't be found. Wow. Wait, that's Madeline. Close enough. That would have been perfect. <laughs> ah! How about that? So, guys, yeah, that was the start of the new half. Look at the, look at the match, guys. 45th. And f <laughs> How about that? The goal was so early, I thought it was the end of the, the first half, to be honest. <laughs> look at those two goals. 45th and 46th. Thought it was like, <laughs> that's a time around injury time. Oh, that's how early in the second half that was. Uh, so, uh, some in the crowd, some lads in the crowd didn't even get back on their seats. They thought, where did these two goals come from? They were in the toilets for too long, and they missed a couple goals. How about that? Leicester have operating toilets, do they? Who knows? Ricardo. <laughs> no idea. No idea. Oh, all Brighton. All Brighton. Madison. Oh, look at the saves. Oh, look, they had a couple opportunities there, and the save by De Gea. Whew. A lot to take in. This game and my commentary is <laughs> like craziness. Absolutely craziness in this game. I will tell you that. I will tell you that. 3 0, though. 3 0. They're a bit fired up, but we can make some changes. We can make some changes right now, I reckon. I reckon. How long was it? In t <laughs> How much days away from our next match? I yeah, and is that the Europa League? Yeah, it's five days. Five days is enough break. But, yeah, Carlos Soler, we're going to take him off. This is a good opportunity to bring on Daniel, Daniel James right now. Actually, if we think about it, uh, yeah, it depends who else is really going to come off, but it probably will be Luke Shaw, just off the conditions, really. So, Ashley Young uh, to come down, come down on that side, and maybe we'll leave one more. We won't make it instantly. Yeah, we won't. We'll, we'll, I was wondering about James's position there, but we'll leave him. Uh, we'll leave him. Let's go. Let's go. Continue where we left off. Come on. Containing pretty well. Ashley Young. Ashley, he's the only guy. Oh, I just brought you on, lad. And everyone else is doing nicely and you come up and get a yellow card that quick. Come on. Yeah, I, th there's not a lot that's convincing me to give him another contract. Just let him go at the end of his deal. Uh, yeah, 2020. So let me know if you agree with that. Uh, Freeze up 120k as well. For me, he's not 100, yeah, or like 100k player. Uh, to be on to be on that much, uh, getting towards the end of his career, his experience and his team leadership brings more out of other players, I suppose. So that's good for now. So McTominay, McTominay, come off. Let's just bring on Pereira right now. Um, something you may notice when we play with the two Mazars, we've got like, <laughs> like we've got six players basically on attack duties. Uh, so that it seems like a lot, but we're co we're controlling, we're controlling. Let's let's finish him off. What's that's gonna be? Is that just gonna be a goal kick? As we're making we're making the substitutes right there. About ten minutes, ten minutes left in this game. Come on, Ashley Young, go over top. Belotti, Belotti, try again. Try better next time. Oh, we don't want to. <laughs> we don't want to get. Uh, we don't want to get a red card. Most definitely. Now, James, keep going. Keep pass it across, guys. Anyone notice? It, it rarely happens in Football Manager. The players just don't do that. They barely ever pass across goal when there's a player in an absolutely amazing position. People see it as a FIFA stuff. It's not even that conversation. Doesn't matter. We end up getting a goal, but throw FIFA out of the conversation. And something I want to admit, I don't really want FIFA conversation in when I'm doing FIFA uh, when I'm doing Football Manager videos. Uh, but yeah, that, just that little comparison. Anyway, it rarely happens in Football Manager, regardless of your tactics. Your players they kind of disregard it really and just take a shot. Which is which is quite frustrating. Sometimes they will, if they, if it was a cl really clear pass, and just depending how it comes about. But yeah, <laughs> just to mention that on a little bit. Oh, great ball, Rashford, neat. But we could not finish, guys. I'm telling you, 
It's very, very early in Football Manager. And I know, we're Man United, so we've got at least a pretty strong team, and it is 5-0, but maybe not as much in previous years. It's not maybe the level of Barcelona or Real Madrid or even in the Premier League, not the level of Man City, not the Man City level. That's hard to say as a Man United supporter, but like where it's going to be super easy. So, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely not the Man United of old, like four or five years ago. When you had like Ronaldo and Rooney and <laughs> uh, a very, very strong United team. It's it's still more of a challenge now. So I think still some needs to be said for the tactics. But yeah, there's a long way to go in the season. We can The, the CPU can start maybe reading our style and we'll have to switch things up a little bit. See, not 100% perfect. The defense uh, flopping around a little bit. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna hopefully play it out, though, like, uh, Leicester's done decent, Ricardo Pereira, he, like, we, he was one that was noted, the key player noted, we had to watch out for, can we make it six, 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 no, Schmeichel makes the save, but five nil is pretty crazy away from home against a pretty, uh, a pretty good team in Leicester City so far this season, and we have really put them... <laughs> put the hammer to them, really. And they, they've they not threatened us, really. And then we've we've killed them. Uh, we've killed them, we've got to say that. And it's not the first time we've done that to a team this season. So, yeah, something's got to be, uh, got to be said about that, I think. I was just going to say, very early in Football Manager, I, I don't think this is going... This Like, obviously, there's going to be improvements I'll need to make and changes to the tactic. I don't expect to be absolutely flawless now. But we're doing we're we're doing okay, <laughs> and I feel like mate, come on, you, you had a pretty good win there. You're top of the league. Something has to be said about that. But I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to be talking about it too much. But we yeah, we're doing all right. And new signing in Andrea Bellotti uh, with a brace. He sends us top. And how about that? He's got ten goals in the Premier League. Massive season for him. Massive season. His current value, $45 million. We signed him for 30 But yeah, exactly like I said, that comes from the pressing forward. If you wanted to read uh, into it into it more there. His main duty is to put pressure on the opposition when they have possession. That's exactly what he did. Closing them down, uh, chasing any loose balls. So that was basically it. Uh, it was perfect. And the fact that's his best role. That's why I saw it, yeah. Well, when I signed him, we didn't actually have that um, in mind or to play this specific tactic but we thought we would use him as that role but it shows when you play yeah both your strikers with that yeah it's a lot it's very intensive 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 <laughs> i was reading the intensity there as well so yeah it's a five day it's a five day break until this next one in Istanbul. i told you they got some decent names some of them a bit later in their career but they've built they've got a bit of experience Unfortunately, I don't have their division loaded, so I can't see yeah, how they're how they're going in the league. But what I can do is I can see their performances. You can see, like, took a look, Visca. He's one I didn't even mention. I suppose he doesn't have that kind of reputation in his name as few few of those others. Yeah, how about that? They signed him for three hundred and fifty k, and right now, what? He's almost thirteen million. So, and he's pretty good. He's got he's fifty caps, fifty cap for Bosnia. So, yeah, experienced player. Show to be a good signing. And, yeah, just see some of their better players. Demba Ba, or well, he's got two goals in three stars. Not too bad. Though, yeah, Lindelof, he did reach his yellow cards limit. We saw that coming. And, again, automatically with the code of conduct, he accepts his warning. Uh, yeah, I, I told you how about I like that feature uh, in the game. Uh, you can uh, do that at the start of the season. You put your, your code of conduct in, and I did do the warning for the first for the first action, the first time they do commit something uh, for, for everything you can select with that. It's like when they miss training as well. Warn them every time, the first thing. You do it again, you get fined. So they shouldn't get upset because we already warned them once about it. But we can have a bit of a look at the other leagues. See who's topping them. Uh, Barcelona at the moment, same points. Atletico Madrid, though. Uh, Juventus kind of cruising in the league. I saw this thing on Google. Like, if you type Juventus not in Football Manager 2020, there, were, there was a website that made a thread about it already. And I'm like, they are. 
they are in Football Manager. You just need to download updates, which is so easy to do. <laughs> they are in the game. Look at this. I've debunked this website's article. <laughs> and you see, yeah, former Man United favourite Gary Neville. He's really happy with Bellotti's work as well. Yeah, ha hails his work early, and we have a real gem of a player. It's really good when, yeah, uh, a former favourite uh, legend of the club is supporting you in that signing. And yeah, Aaron Wan Bissaka, he's, he's really pushing for international call up, absolutely. Uh, he's he's a fantastic player. So in this save, but what do you reckon about him in real life, lads? Uh, to push up uh, in the English setup. Oh, Phil Jones picks up injury there. Pulled hamstring. Yeah, mate, Phil, you're gonna be missed. So all right, it's gonna be time for our game now. So in Istanbul, I'm I'm really anticipating their eleven. So if we just take a look at the groups, I <laughs> skip that a little bit quick. Uh, yeah, the group, uh, how we're sitting, yeah, they'll want to try and beat us. Yeah, they're sick. they've got two wins, so yeah, they definitely are right. So if we go to our our team selection right now, not going to make so many changes now if we take a look. If we look, who's in contention to sell? Matic? See, his contract... Guys, he's another. Do we just let him go, forget about trying to get some money for him? Another with Ashley Young. It frees up some wage. If you look, we've got money. <laughs> Available wage budget right now, 100k. So for the following season, we can have more money to make some big signings. And maybe we could attract more players next season because we'll actually be in the Champions League. If we keep up this form, of course. Not to get too ahead of ourselves. Uh, so that's definitely two. And maybe Fred's one we sell. See, he's... He's on a bigger contract for longer, so he's 120k as well. We could sell him, get maybe about 20 million or something. So that's good. So some money. And then our defenders, maybe Rojo. He's on 110k. A lot of these lads, and his contract's not running out, so we can make some profit off him. Phil Jones, you saw, you saw my sarcastic talk there about his injury. And yes, he's not running out of his contract, so we sell him maybe for about 20 million as well. And that's 100k off. G guys, we can free up a lot some money. A lot of money. Even Lee Grant, he's on oh, 30k, he's nothing massive. His contract running out. A bit of an older player. It's better than nothing. Romero, we wonder, do we just keep him as the backup? He's still, at least for next season, because he's you know, to 2021. So as we keep all that in mind, thought I'd yeah cover that a little bit. Uh, but this 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 team, pretty strong. Pretty strong. I'm really I'm starting to see this as our best 11, I guess you could say. You could rotate maybe one player. Uh, I don't know, but I'm really happy. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. So we're going to submit the team and let's get on. Let's get on into it. There's, as I told you, there's been a lot of, I wouldn't say hype exactly, but their team. And yeah, there's they've got Alia there and they're not even starting all of those names. Look, Rubinho and Inla. Beige are different. I just know him more because I'm Australian. But yeah, Inla. Inla, he's 35, 35 years old. But he was a great player, yeah? He was, where well, he's played for a lot of teams. Look at his career. Because he played in Italy for a lot. Yeah, I remember when he, he played for two teams, yeah? <laughs> well, I'm looking at it, so obviously. And then he moved to the Premier League. Anyway, yeah, Bayic. If you didn't know, he, like, he's got that nationality in him. Like, he's Australian, but he's Turkish as well, like his parents. So, yeah, <laughs> if you can't tell from his name. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, he's Australian, but he's... Yeah, he's got that like, he's got that background. Yeah, he's got that Turkish background. So anyway, anyway, let's go. Let's go. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna say for this one, <laughs> guys? Are you getting bored of me saying the same thing, or is it good that we just keep getting getting good reactions? That's only gonna help us. Uh, again, what are we gonna say? De Gea has really caught the eye. Yeah, he's been good. Certainly hope he can keep it going. What else? Are you happy with Rashford's performance? Yeah, he, he's been excellent. He's playing there at the moment, and I'd be silly to make changes for the sake of it. <laughs> you sometimes think they want you to do that. What uh, appears to be handed a role that doesn't really suit him. Guys. Uh, really? Did they say McTominay has been handed a role that doesn't really suit him? He's got two naturals. The position and the role. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Uh... A football manager, these are the things I expect you to have right. Uh, <laughs> and silly little things that are wrong normally in FIFA career mode. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, I assume, yeah, it's just on the beta, so that all those things will be ironed out, I'd like to think. 
uh, get ironed out. Juan Bissaka. And plus, he's been really good, McTominay. And I'm pretty sure I read that right. That's what they were saying. Anyway, anyway, what else, what else can we say? What else can we say? Just keep going. Is this just going to be a long build-up to a goal? I would absolutely love that. Scott McTominay, he's bigger than most opponents. Oh, Luke Shaw! Oh, I'm this, he was offside. But did you see Luke Shaw, just his little ball control there, the movement? That was sweet. And now here is Alia. He's getting a game. Sure. Good start by him. They will say that. Now, Belotti is a goal. Is a goal. That's 14th of the season. Outstanding. Outstanding. Rashford, the architect. See, Rashford's not going to be... Well, he'll score goals, guys. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Oh, but the interceptions by Shaw. Rashford is very, very valuable as a winger. The balls he plays in, crosses, creates a lot. Uh, he could have the most assists come the end of the season. He could have a very good tally and be involved in a lot. So, yeah, keep this up. Keep this going. Now it's Rashford. Get past your man. Uh, not quite there. Come on. Don't let him get through that easy. Yeah, Khaleesi's still going. I remember being football manager in the days he was at Arsenal. He was a very good fullback. Come on, win this. Clear it, Maguire. No. Oh, good block. That's unlucky. And Alia, shout out. Great goal. <laughs> Great goal. Would I be saying that if it was just like another random player and not just because he follows me on Twitter? <laughs> I had to point that out. <laughs> uh, but great goal, lad. I'm saying that in case he watches, but he's not going to watch. <laughs> What's, what a goal it was, though. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Told you guys, if there was a team that was going to threaten us, it could be this lot, because they've got a lot of experience. They've got a lot of experience in the team, and they're not not—they're not a team that has major weaknesses that will come up against. That's what I'll say, but Rashford, he's going to make them look like they have a weakness. He's dancing, he's dancing, and Martial is finishing, and he's running away. Makes it all about him there, and he waits till the lads come to him. <laughs> Another assist to Marcus Rashford. Take a look. This is absolutely amazing. Told you guys, not just about the strikers as well. The wingers attack, run at the defense, and Marcus Rashford, he does that poof, to the highest of highest of levels. Well, especially when playing him, like attacking midfielder on that left side. It's like a left winger, basically, but inside forward. He just guns at him. And then it's player individual style as well. That's Rashford stuff. Yeah, you'll see. It's a different role as well now compared to Solaire down the right side. What an interception, McTominay and Bellotti. We could have finished them off there or put ourselves in a very, very good position to uh, win this game. Uh, win this game. And obviously, yeah, Martin Skirtle. Martin Skirtle at the back. We're well, winning 2-1. Maybe... Oh, I'd hand over to the assistant. Hey, got a good reaction anyway from that. We'll take that. We'll take that. No, no complaints. No complaints at the end of the day right now. But there's still work to be done. There's still work to be done right here. So, it's not in the bag. The result is not in the bag just yet. There's more to be done. So, get them under pressure. Ugh. Almost too easy. Maybe now. Ah, uh, Rashford. See, Rashford has got into opportunity as well, but he just hasn't taken them. So I feel really we are we are creating the chances we should. Or I said that's not even related to what I wanted to say. I mean, we are selecting, the, at least in that position, the best. Martial in the striker position and not out wide where, Mar uh, yeah, where Rashford is playing and have Martial as a striker. That seems to be the right selection. Oh, it's big if something happens from here. Oh, my God. What a goal. That puts this game right on its head. Oh, wow. De Gea. Yeah, he could not save that. So we're going to push up to very attacking. This is, yeah, this is the change we make now to the team instructions. And we'll be a bit more direct. And we'll drop the tempo slightly higher. You can't play it that too high for the whole game. And actually, 
we'll leave on standard for now. Maybe go a late push if we still need a goal, and then we take play out of defense. We'll leave working the ball into the box. Actually, yeah, we'll we'll do that. See how we go and highlight right away. Let's see if we do actually score right away. That will be a big that will be a big thing to see if that change. See the change! Oh my god, see the change. And actually, we'll switch that around. Or take work ball into the box off. If we're going direct. Just about getting the right mixture. Ready to go. Getting the right mixture with that. Now, Soler. No. Let's keep going, though. This is a good play. And, guys, I kind of love the... Yeah, if I just pause it for a second. The key highlights... I don't really need to edit this part, like edit out the parts in between like I would in a FIFA video. Like it's a whole gameplay, so edit out the parts, but it's kind of, it's it's into highlights <laughs> itself, so it's kind of handy. Don't have to edit as much, only through the quiet parts, but yeah, um, it's kind of, it, it kind of edits itself, uh, which is very handy for videos. Luke Shaw, and for you guys to watch, it's, it, yeah, it's a good amount of highlights in a game. Whew, whew. Maybe if there's needless ones, but that's why I said like it on key, uh, opposed to extended as well. Extended might be a little bit too long, especially if we're playing three games. So, all right. We're still after a goal. We really need it to come. As I said, we need to have, as I just talked about tactically, some matches will have very, very good results, and then some other ones like this is a bit closer. Can we eventually, can we eventually break them through though? Or break them down? And break through their defense. Come on. And see now. Oh, they're overlapping there. Got to watch out. See. Now they. Oof. If they score. Guys. We might face a loss. But no. Good defending. Was happy with that. Come on, Anthony. Do this right. Pass it. Pass it. Pogba. Yes, lad. What a goal. That was a great play by the team to counter. Yes. Rashford, that ball, lethal. The assist will go to Martial for that. But it was so good by Rashford. He set it up. And Pogba to take that first time. What a hit. What a hit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're taking the lead now. So maybe we can freshen up. Let's bring on... Ooh. Let's bring on one matter. Let's bring on one matter right now. And McTominay. McTominay. Let's bring on Pereira for McTominay. All right. And this is where we come and we make the changes. Yeah, both in that Mazala. All right. Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw. Let's bring on Ashley Young. A bit of that leadership, leadership at the back. So we go with that. We go with that right there. Oh, there's a highlight right away. I was thinking about team instructions. If we should change that. Because we've got a lead. But we could still apply that pressure. We can still apply that pressure. And really finish them off. One goal lead is never enough. So let's do them. Let's do them. Let's do them here. Pereira. <laughs> Guys that's almost. Very very almost. So we say, we'll say shout concentrate. They're overwhelmed by that reaction. So guys. The instant reaction to that was, like, a negative one. Like, in that red lighting. Uh, sometimes you think when you're overwhelmed, it's not 100% a bad thing. It's just, like, a lot of feedback. But it can be good as well sometimes. Like, an overwhelming feeling. I've always seen an overwhelming feeling. It's not so negative. It's just, like, a little bit too much. That's what over overwhelming is to me. Anyway, <laughs> that was my instant reaction. Look at that. But my point is, if we end up getting a goal, <laughs> if we end up getting a goal, it's Ashley Young, and then it's one matter, and is that one going to count? It's not going to be disallowed? No, it puts it uh, beyond doubt. So yeah, that was the instant reaction, then we go on to score, so <laughs> yeah, surely it was only, only a positive. And Rashford, he set that up to Young, great shot, great shot there, then one matter, finishes him off, finishes him off, so great work today. Those changes, you would like to think, helped. And I mean, what if we end up getting another and it will suddenly be 5-2 and looks like a easy win for us? <laughs> Goes very close. Uh, that could have easily been the way. Uh, guys, how did the ball come through by itself through the back of the net? That's bloody magic. Wow, how did that happen? 
Okay. I wonder why the highlights started there. They didn't even show the build-up to it. <laughs> that was really weird for that shot. But Rashford, win it. you got to be stronger. you got to be stronger with that. But Lindelof positioned so well. Happy with that. Let's... Ooh, Martial, he's onside. Thought he was a bit forward, but anyway. Still creating chance after chance after chance. I just would love another one for us. For uh, If we made it 5-2. Ooh, Andreas Pereira comes in so nicely. Told you that pressure. The pressure is really nice. From forward to midfield and in defense. They win it back. But let's see. Can we do it again? Can we do it yet again? See, look at this. Covering. Don't let him go through. We don't. We do We do pretty well there. Respectable. But don't let him get through. See, this is not what we wanted. This is not what we wanted, but a weak shot in the end. Maybe they should have done better. They're looking uninterested at the moment. So we're just, yeah, we're playing this out right now. Still look out for that fifth. Because then it will be definitely in our favor this game. So it could go either way. They get another goal, looks close. We get another goal. Uh, looks like we dominated it. Very interesting how that worked. And it's a save to De Gea. They could have easily scored that. But is it going to end? No, see, that's what I mean. We could score here or not. Bayic has came on. And he just cleared that. Yeah, but it went out. There's a minute. There's a minute to remain. So this is exactly on topic, as I was mentioning. What if we... Ah, I'm getting a bit frustrated. I shouldn't. We're going to win this. And we get it back. Let's see. Juan Bissaka, great ball. Great ball. And we're going to have another chance. Another opportunity. So many opportunities here. Juan Bissaka, pretty composed. Composed on the ball. I sensed the tackle coming there. And that was probably going to be, be it for the game. I reckon 10 seconds left. The highlight... The highlight may not even come to anything the last minute. There may have not been, like, needless. But it... <sighs> All for that. <laughs> but that's what I mean. We were just about to probably score a fifth. Clearly dominant with the shots. We had absolutely plenty. So, yeah, well done, lads. Great, great result. Once more, another win to our name. And then in the inbox, again, we just hammer them. We qualify for the first knockout round already. We receive over 500k there, half a million from that performance. And yeah, 16 day break until the next game. So perfect time to finish off again. So this is another long episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these uh, in depth. Uh, in depth, we're playing three three games. It, it does depend on the performances or more so, more so the fixtures. Uh, the fixtures that we do have uh, coming up as we're looking at December and we may be eyeing that already. Guys, it's they're setting it up perfectly for three games. <laughs> three games in an episode. Start with Arsenal in the... Maybe get... Uh, oh, yeah, get up in your comments. Should I still try and play a few of the younger guys? But it is Arsenal, even though it's not important competition. I don't know. It will be interesting. And then we've got Man City three days later. Whew, you know around that... Yeah, around that Christmas period, pretty busy. But five-day break after Man City to Liverpool. <laughs> that, like, stands out even more. So that's... We will play a bit more off-camera. So that's, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more games for me to play off-camera. But they're all... Yeah, you see how we're going. We're performing pretty well. Take a look how we are in the league. So we progress. I know you guys that watch FM series, uh, you like the seasons that progress. Play off-camera a decent amount. So... Um, and then do three games when I do episodes. So, yeah, get a lot of content still. So, anyway, make sure you guys do leave a like on the video. Run it up to 100 likes. I'll get the next episode out as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.